Hello everybody, welcome to Review A Day, episode number 9 for Thursday, August the 21st, 2008. Hello everybody, welcome to Review A Day, the daily video blog where I review a movie 7 days a week. My name is Leland Brungart and thank you very much for joining me. I recently saw the trailer for the newest David Fincher movie and it's called uh, The Curious Case of Benjamin Button and it stars Brad Pitt and Cate Blanchett. If you haven't seen this trailer, I highly recommend uh, watching it. it. It looks really great. And as, as I was watching it, I realized that I had, actually, I had actually not seen the latest David Fincher movie, Zodiac. Uh, David Fincher is the director who did Fight Club, he did um, Seven, he did that movie with Michael Douglas, The Game, and uh, he also did Panic Room with Jodie Foster. He's, he's a great director, his films are always kind of a step above uh, just an everyday thriller that kind of come out every couple months. Uh, it's called Zodiac. It's, it stars Jake Gyllenhaal, uh, Robert Downey Jr., and Mark Ruffalo. It's based on the Robert Graysmith book, Zodiac. Uh, this movie, I, well, Robert Graysmith was a cartoonist who worked for the San Francisco Chronicle during the time of the Zodiac murders. He became very close friends with Paul Avery who was played by Robert Downey Jr. in the film, uh, who was the lead reporter for the Zodiac murderers. And it, this also follows the police side of the story, and they, all, they end up intertwining, and uh, the head cop, the head detective on the case was Dave Toshi, who was played by Mark Ruffalo. Robert Graysmith is played by Jake Gyllenhaal. I should have said that first. Uh, these are the kinds of movies I wait for and I eat up when they come out. Um, this is one of those films where the acting is fantastic, it's top-notch, the directing is David Fincher doing what he does best. The story is its the Zodiac case and it's so interesting and so complex and uh, it just makes a really fantastic movie. This movie is based on actual events. It's, it's based on the book and this, this movie is two and a half hours long and that's probably my biggest criticism of, criticism of the film, but even though it's two and a half hours long, I was not bored at all. I've, I've been on message boards and I've heard people say that they thought it was boring or too long. I, I did not have this, I did not have that problem. This film is so dense. Um, you know, this film takes place over like two or three decades and so uh, every single scene is just loaded with information and uh, there's the movie is more about the people who followed the case than about the case itself, almost. Uh, there are a lot of pretty grisly murder scenes. Now, I don't think they're too violent. I mean, they are really violent, but uh, compared to some films I've seen, this is not as bad as it gets. They're really well done, so they're very creepy and disturbing. I really liked that about it. Um, like I said, this movie is about the people investigating it. And all three of the main characters, uh, Paul Avery, um, Robert Graysmith and Dave Toshi are just fantastic characters and they have every scene is just loaded with these great little character moments. My, my favorite moment in the film, it's, it's not even a moment really, it's uh, Robert Graysmith, the guy who wrote the book, was kind of considered like a boy scout. He was a single father at the beginning and um, he didn't really drink, he, people just thought he was this really nice guy. And there's a scene between uh, Jake Gyllenhaal and Robert Downey Jr. where Jake Gyllenhaal is just eating carrot sticks and I thought that was such a nice touch that he's basically eating you know like a packed lunch and he's eating carrot sticks and I loved that about this film. Dave Toshi in the film, uh, Mark Ruffalo, he's always uh, eating, he loves animal crackers and it's just little touches and they're not, they don't, they don't stick out of the film, they're really nicely placed and uh, they didn't take me out. I, I loved that about it. Um, the performances across the board, like I said, are top-notch. Uh, Jake Gyllenhaal sometimes I, I don't totally love, but in this film he totally works. He's, he seems like such a nice guy and he really came across really perfectly. Robert Downey Jr. in this film is phenomenal. I, I didn't see this film when it was released and I, I can't believe that he didn't even get an, an Oscar nomination. He's fantastic. He's doing what Robert Downey Jr. does best, which is that really charming kind of smart-ass role he loves to play and he's fantastic in this film but Mark Ruffalo who I always like but I, I think he's he stands out in this role he is Dave Toshi he seems like a cop um, I never once didn't buy it which was something I was kind of afraid I was like well it's Mark Ruffalo from Just Like Heaven 
Uh, but I bought him, and I thought he was fantastic. I thought Danny Jr. and uh, Mark Ruffalo were just uh, phenomenal. They knocked it out of the park. Uh, the Zodiac case is really interesting because it's never been closed. Um, they haven't arrested anyone on the case. It's open in a couple of the cities still. Um, but this film has an incredibly satisfying ending. Uh, the film really lays out, uh, like I, I believe it's in the Robert Gray Smith book, who they believe the Zodiac third to be. And even though you don't get to see him arrested or anything like that, the film is in no way unsatisfying or it really... Uh, ties up all the loose ends very, very well, which I, which I loved about it. Um, so if you're into kind of uh, true story police work or uh, gritty kind of murder mysteries, I highly recommend this movie. Um, I, I would say don't let the two and a half hour runtime turn you a bit away because I often look at a runtime and I'm like, I don't want to see that movie. I still haven't seen American Gangster because I know how long it is, even though I know that Everyone says it's great and that it doesn't seem as long, but uh, I, I love this. I love Zodiac. I was so glad I finally saw it. Um, so yeah, that's my review. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to be doing a review of a, the kind of indie horror movie that's kind of been out in a while. It's called The Signal. Um, I'll share my thoughts with you on that tomorrow. If you guys are enjoying these reviews, make sure and subscribe. Um, so thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.